Hi, I'm Jeff Murrah. I want to welcome you to True Texas History, where today we're going to be talking about the Las Casas episode and Jose Gutierrez. As you know, I've been doing a series on the filibusters of Texas, and this episode, um, it's important to understand um, as background to understanding the Gutierrez McGee expedition and some of what went down there. And I'm going to tie some pieces together from some of the other episodes uh, and things will start making a little more sense. Okay, if you remember uh, me talking about Father Hidalgo back in 1810 and his efforts at uh, <clears throat> gaining Mexican independence uh, from Spain, you know, he uh, lifted up a banner, the Virgin of Guadalupe, and uh, he proclaimed his, what's, what's known as the Grito, uh, and started an independence movement. Now, uh, I mentioned that when I was going over Peter Ellis Bean, because he helped them with some of their efforts down there. Now, when that was going down in Mexico, uh, here in Texas, uh, there's an army captain by the name of Juan Batista de Casas who organized uh, a group of troops uh, in San Antonio. And uh, with this group, I, I guess you could call them a militia, they started taking over the town. He started replacing Spanish uh, royal officials with local people, including uh, the royalist governor Manuel Maria del Salcedo. Now, the Salcedos, uh, if you're remembering from the episode uh, the other day, you say, gee, Salcedo, isn't that the name of the guy that uh, had uh, Pike put in jail? Well, you're right. It's the same family. But that Salcedo over in Santa Fe was this Salcedo's uncle. Same family, just different relation. Um but Salcedo was uh, taken out of office, uh, and um, this interim government was put in. Uh, now, news of the overthrow of Spanish authorities traveled quickly, and it reached uh, Father Hidalgo, and he was thrilled as all get out to hear that, uh, you know, there in uh, Texas, they had overthrown the Spanish authorities, and uh, viva la revolution, you know. Um, now, uh, well, Salcedo uh, and uh, another fellow by the name of Herrera were taken to a private residence um, belonging to an Ignacio Elizondo. Now, uh, these two fellows managed talking uh, Elizondo into switching sides. Uh, to go from being a Mexican nationalist to being a royalist, uh, and they persuaded, persuaded him to do that. So, uh, Elizondo was involved in uh, ambushing Father Hidalgo at the Wells of Bajan to where uh, Hidalgo was captured, and he was also involved um, in uh, the retaking of the city. Now, in retaking the city uh, from the Mexican nationalist, uh, you have the Viramendis involved, you have Juan Seguin involved uh, in this takeover. Now, Las Casas was eventually caught, you know, and once again, much like Herrera, uh, his head was cut off, uh, salted and put on public display in San Antonio for about 10 years. So, you know, he went into the public plaza. There was uh, La Casas' head. Now, with Hidalgo uh, being killed and Las Casas out of the way, we already know that uh, Jose Morelos took over the independence movement. But one of Hidalgo's aides... Uh, managed escaping uh, and managed to t uh, take off to Texas. Well, actually a couple of them. Uh, and uh, that was Jose Bernardo Maximiliano Gutierrez de Lara, uh, also known in history as Jose Gutierrez. He is going to be involved in the Gutierrez-McGee expedition. 
he and his friend uh, Joseph Antonio Menchaca, spelled M-E-N-C-H-A-C-A. -C -C -A. Some people call it Manchac, some Manchaca. Manchac uh, managed to escape from Texas, made it to Natchitoches, Louisiana, and started things uh, rolling that eventually became the Gutierrez McGee expedition. I'm going to be talking about that later. Now, this whole episode of the Las Casas uh, uprising in San Antonio, where they took over the government, that all occurred in 1811. Actually, in January of 1811. So, you know, uh, we're almost at the anniversary. But uh, when you know the background, you understand uh, where Gutierrez fits in. Uh, Gutierrez has some bad blood uh, with Salcedo and Herrera. That's going to come into play because he resented uh, what they did uh, to some of the leaders of the revolution and how that was handled uh, and the duplicity because <clears throat> there's always paybacks, especially uh, when it comes to Texas independence. Um, you know, understanding Texas in a the filibuster, there's a, there's a lot of moving parts, and uh, the parts are interrelated. Uh, many of these parts, uh, I went ahead and talked about in my book, Texans Always Move Them, uh, True History of Texas. Uh, you can find that at texasalwaysmovethem.com. You can order it there. Make a great Christmas present. Uh, so, <laughs> until next time, this is Jeff Murrah wishing you via con Dios, my friends. We'll talk to you later. Goodbye.